Will she be paid? That being the smug gamer dog of Idol EN, Hochi Wanmaru. Having received this redesign back in October and later in December, running a 48 hour donathon saying, I have moved to help cover costs. I planned an event with lots of fun stuff for us to do. Adding most of the earnings will help cover the costs of the recent move and furnishing and soundproofing. Hochi Wanmaru at this time, having not streamed for the past two months, in her most recent tweet from February 9th, reading, I'm alive. I'm dealing with a lot right now and having meetings. I'm not ready to talk about it yet, and I may be away for a while longer, but I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Please take care of yourselves. And that now bringing us over to her account outside of Idol, where she goes by the name of Finn Riru, and tweeting out, let's talk about my time working at Not Starbucks. That directly referring to the Idol VTuber agency, saying I may be less active for a bit because this is causing me extreme anxiety, and I want to spend time with Mama Fen as she is visiting starting tomorrow. This Google document then reading, not Starbucks, has not provided an extended break notice despite my request to do so a long while ago. This situation has caused me significant worries. I wanted to take a break from accumulated stress from the very start to the present because of several issues that not Starbucks has had. While I recognize some internal issues are being worked on, there has been limited acknowledgement of responsibility for past incidents. I have experienced difficulties primarily in my interactions with Mr. Man. Some believing that is directly referencing the CEO and founder of Idol Corporation. As further this document reads, I was scheduled to receive my share of the second promo event earnings given to me in support by customers in early February to help and facilitate my move to another country, including various expenses like furniture, soundproofing, better equipment, as agreed, and being the sole reason for my second promo event but I did not receive anything. That second promo event, again referencing that Donathon fundraiser for Pochi Wan Maro's move back in December. This document continues with the lack of funds has caused me financial hardship. I have been under the impression that I would be paid. I was told it was sent or being sent at the time and like the first promo event and all the other promo events, I should have received the funds on my next paycheck. I was then recently told that the funds were frozen due to saying I I wouldn't do my tasks, which is false. We were still discussing and in the middle of negotiations, there were mentions of other tasks over which I had no control over. For example, a not Starbucks minigame, not Starbucks stuff mascot, and that was what I was referring to. This concerned me because I stated multiple times I could do my tasks. It seemed illogical as I had learned I would not receive the funds prior to this part of our negotiations. I was told by someone else at not Starbucks that the actual reason was because I had a work leave notice active. Regardless, this shouldn't have changed anything since there was a significant established lapse of time before my leave and I was more than open to negotiate and compromise to do my tasks during that time and extend the work leave notice. Around the start of January, I had issued a work leave notice because of my experiences at not Starbucks. I want to emphasize that issuing the work leave notice was not related to the promo event. I planned to see what was possible, what my options were, what we could agree on, finish my tasks, of the promo event and exit with no complications. Keep in mind, we are at the end of March as of this writing, and I could have worked on tasks for the promo event this entire time. There were instances of undue pressure and coercion over the past months going back and forth, such as punitive terms and documents I was given to sign and threats. I refused to sign anything for my own mental well-being and to protect my freedom. Other well-meaning individuals joined in the negotiation near the tail end, but it was still unfruitful as Mr. Man refused to budge. In the end, I knew refunds might have to be issued despite being a last option because of my financial situation and possibilities of resolving this. I was very recently made aware by customers that upon asking for refunds, messages sent by not Starbucks to customers indicated no refunds would be offered because I was presently working on and on my way to finishing my tasks. False, as we had not yet come to an agreement, while simultaneously claiming I would not do my tasks. I hadn't received anything either way. In the end, it is the right thing to do for customers because we were unable to find a way for not Starbucks to let me complete my tasks. I've been feeling very unwell because of the situation and have made this known to not Starbucks. It has affected me mentally and physically where I have needed to see a doctor. Most days I feel very depressed and brain fogged, completely out of it, and I struggle to do anything, including coffee making. I felt lonely and isolated, worsening my anxieties. I am very exhausted. I try 
tried my best. As part of the same in being in bold, I have respectfully asked not Starbucks to respect my privacy and discontinue any further attempts to contact me. Despite holding evidence, I've chosen not to disclose further details out of consideration for the other baristas and not Starbucks staff. I believe it prudent for all parties to move forward and disengage from this matter. Continued engagement serves no purpose and will only perpetuate harm and validate my experiences. Finn then later tweeting out clarifications, clarifying Idol would be taking a 40% cut of those funds, and yes, that the funds were supposed to be sent even before the completion of the tasks, as has been the case from other donathons that Idol has held. Finn further confirming they had no intentions to quote-unquote run away. They are grateful to those who support them. Finn saying further they have not been allowed to post as Pochi. This all occurring in the wake of V and U and their talent Amano Serofi, as she is claiming that she has also not been paid for her donathon funds, saying that she had requested to be graduated from VNU as far back as February 28th. VNU later confirming that request, but still on March 4th, sending out a happy one year anniversary to her and her gen mate. Ben Riru further tweeting out, I may stream something fun on Twitch to catch up and situate myself with where I left off. Not sure when, could be in a few days or sooner. We'll update on that. That all while hours before that statement from Pochiwan Maru, the CEO and founder of Idol Corporation, had tweeted out, we believe VTuber agencies should offer more to their talents. This is why we have transformed the way we reinvest in Idol. In this blog post saying, today we will explore our new expense cover system we introduced this year to talents. This new approach helps talents focus on content instead of worrying about expenses and promotes more group projects and creative thinking. Laying out company credit cards, stating all our talents are issued official company credit cards assigned to them to be used easily and efficiently when purchasing things like video games, equipment, and other things they might need for streaming. This helps talents make quick purchases without having to talk to their managers, making the whole process more efficient and quick. And here we have quarterly budget. In order to make things fairer, promote reinvestment in smaller talents, and encourage large-scale projects by talent, we've introduced a quarterly budget for talents. Quarterly budgets are calculated every quarter based on the last quarter's performance. The budget is $1,500 or 20% of the quarter's revenue, whichever is higher. This guarantees even smaller talents get a significant budget to undertake large-scale projects while we're still reinvesting a significant portion of earnings back into the talents. There's also a generation budget. Moving into 2024, we'll be putting a lot more focus on group projects and teamwork. The generation budget is given each quarter and is equal to $1,500 multiplied by the number of talents in a generation. This budget is given on top of the normal quarterly budget for individual projects and each generation decides how to use this budget each quarter. And now very timely, we have the Donathon coverage segment saying Donathons have been a great opportunity for talents to raise money for large scale projects. We decided to integrate that as part of our expense coverage by covering all project expenses for the different goals so that talents can take home the earnings they made from the Donathon without having to worry about paying for all the goals they promised to do. Let's go ahead and reread that. We decided to integrate Donathons as part of our expense coverage by covering all project expenses for the different goals so that talents can take home the earnings they made from the Donathon without having to worry about paying for all the goals they promised to do. As a result, we don't profit at all from Donathons because the goals reflect the cost of projects based on the amount raised. Ben Riru earlier sharing screenshots of Discord conversations with Idol. Idol initially saying, yes, the payment should have been sent, but further stating that any amount over $10,000 could take longer to process. This conversation being over a month and a half ago and allegedly still no funds issued to this talent. Lastly, as part of this blog post, we have the other budget section saying as part of a secret project, talents are also issued an additional budget that is more significant than the budgets listed before. The CEO and founder saying, I hope to revisit this post in the future to provide more context on that once the project is announced. This all occurring as Idol has been very busy. Earlier sending out this fake important announcement, that announcement being for the long-awaited re-debuts of the remaining Idol origin members now being properly made as a part of Idol EN and titled Genesis. Idol for those debuts saying clip Genesis debut and earn $5 for every 1,000 views as part of their Clippers partner program. Those Genesis members being Katarina Cutie, seen here with her new look and saying thank you for coming to my debut stream alongside my red flags are big but my boobs are bigger. Oh while also as a part of Genesis we have Nikki Ray releasing a Daft Punk debut cover and seen here in her new form. Her character illustrator saying congrats on your re-debut 
Nikki. Further with Idol EN, we have Kai Psychota announcing she'll be taking a short break. That lasting from March 26th to the 31st, saying I will still be around, but we'll be taking this time to refocus on awesome projects I've been working on behind the scenes. Idol has some very awesome and exciting things coming up, so I want to take a break while I can. And also with Idol EN, we have Fuyo Cloverfield, recently celebrating her birthday and also releasing brand new merch available until March 30th. Alongside posting up a picture we don't know if we can show, but Fuyo saying, I am so overwhelmed by all the love today. Time and time again, Lucky Charms, you give me all the support company and more than I could ever ask for. That as Tobin Jacobs has been very busy. Showing off here, I made all of Idol's talents into life-size cutouts. Idol Ian's Momo Otako now returned and saying, why is Juna towering over everyone? Kai is literally so short. And as promised, Tobin Jacobs would also make this 20-foot cutout of V4 Mariah's Maria, while further surprising everybody with these cutouts. That being every active member of Phase Connect. As now today, we turn to Phase Connect's Pipkin Pippa, confirmed to not be smarter than a fifth grader. Joe Cola giving us this shirt design and further updating us with Pippa plushie sample paid for and in production. Pippa this month celebrating her birthday and releasing merchandise like fans, t-shirts, scarves, and high knee socks. As on the Phase Connect shop, it would say that the knee-high sock size are a universal men's fit. Not Theo providing us with this result. Pippa on her birthday giving away a gift wallpaper saying it's my birthday, but here's a gift for you. While also wishing Pippa a happy birthday was Hall Live Japan's Tsunamaki Watame. Happy birthday, dear people, Kim Pippa. Pippa. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to put your name on the as later Novel AI would post, join our favorite rabbit Pipkin Pippa on stream Saturday, March 16th, for a special collaboration with Novel AI featuring Novel AI Diffusion version 3. This collaboration very expectedly leading to Pippa's 29th cancellation by Twitter. Pippa in turn responding with, please have fun with AI and elevate your ideas by commissioning real art. If you're looking to be a VTuber, my top recommendations are VGen for models, commercial use art, etc. Scab for for fun art, and Nizima for pre-made models, assets, etc. As next, we have Luid announcing official Face Connect cross Luid collaboration. That entitled Mega Idol Pipkin Peppa. Face Connect's founder, Sakana, saying Mega Idol Pippa hoodie coming soon. Luid responding, Sakana, I haven't revealed it was a hoodie yet. And further along, we have Project Kavai. This agency group being made up of two VTubers, that being Airi Gunavir and Mikazuki Mai. These two having debuted back in April of 2022, as late last month, Irie would have an announcement as Project Kavai would have their own graduation announcement after. Confirming that their remaining two VTubers on March 31st will be graduating, saying after Mai and Gwen's graduation, Project Kavai will continue to release new episodes of Loon Tide Bewitched until the end of the season. On April 1st, 2024, both Mai and Gwen will cease all streaming activities and their YouTube channel memberships and Streamlabs pages will be closed. Selected content of their YouTube channels as well as their social accounts will remain public for the continued enjoyment of their fans. I read Gwynevere saying, Gwynny is going to miss all the friends I made on my journey. Thank you. As my here on Twitter had a longer farewell, highlighting I love you, thank you, and respect each other. Well, next we have the European-based VTuber agency Globy. Turning now to their slightly insane Swedish polar bear VTuber, Ibuki Bjorn. Globy going on to send out this official statement saying it is with great regret that we are announcing a temporary hiatus for Ibuki Bjorn from streaming activities starting today. This decision was made jointly with Bjorn and the management team in order to be mindful of Bjorn's health and well-being. Bjorn stating, I'm sorry to say I have to go on a hiatus. The reality is that I'm not okay and I have to focus on recovering more than anything. Thank you for your understanding. Lots of love and chomps. That all while Globy would also announce, please give your warmest welcome to the first four members of Globy Gen 2. Welcome to hashtag Equinox and providing one one, two, three, and four silhouettes alongside their respective accounts. All these members still nearly three weeks later in silhouette. As on top of that, Globy would also say, please give your warmest welcome to the final four members of Globy Gen 2. Welcome to Celestia. Once again, offering up one, two, three, and four silhouettes with all eight of these members active on Twitter, but still in silhouette at this time. That as we await the dates for their debuts, turning us now over to Globy's Pippa Pebbles 
worth. Recently holding a clipping competition, offering up roughly 100 US dollars for the top prize. Alongside this artwork and saying thank you so much for three months together. Here's a gift for you pipsters to commemorate the wonderful time we have had together so far. Here's to many, many, many months more. And further along, we have Prism Project, who were also all made into life-size cutouts by Tobin Jacobs. Prism Project once again set to cease all operations on March 31st, as then the majority of their actual members will go on to become indie VTubers, that perhaps, unfortunately, not including Naki Kamazuki, going on to announce her graduation from VTuber activities while the main announcements were made, saying, I really treasured Prism and everyone so much, along with I spent the rest of my time yesterday talking with some friends and they made me cry again. Everything is so bittersweet. I'm really glad I'm surrounded by so many kind people. Of course, you're included. And as promised, before the shutdown, here we have the new outfit debuts for Gen 3, including this beach wear by way of Shiki Miyashino, saying I'm a master at doggy paddle. Further, we have Pina Penguin remarking, let's go out and hang out. We also have Nia Suzune becoming even more cat-like. As lastly, as a part of Gen 3, we have Yoda Rikudo remarking, when I first joined Prison Project, they asked me what kind of appearance I would like. I said I didn't mind anything as long as I am purple. Yura being a blue VTuber for years on end and now saying three years later, I might finally. As yes, now Yura is batting for Team Purple, offering up this key visual and further stating, thank you for coming into my life. Hashtag happy Borf Day Shiki 2024. Shiki Miyashino celebrating her birthday with a mouse pad, keychain, and voice pack. Orders for those goods closing on March 28th, with Shiki now properly posting up her very own key visual. As visualizing next is Zeus of Mythos. Earlier celebrating her Twitch partnership with I Cry So Much, we got partner, we got the PC funded, I just want to cry all night. Thank you, everyone. I want to keep crying. That is Hades of Mythos, alongside Poseidon of Mythos, have also celebrated their Twitch partnerships. Zeus going on to release her very first voice pack, now available on gumroad.com. But further, you asked for it, you demanded it, well, here you go, Bacchus. The Zeus body pillow is now live on cuddlyoctopus.com. And now we have Videre's Elia Stellaria, having this month celebrated her birthday, taking time to release yet another cover song, while also racking up over 80,000 US dollars for her birthday donathon. Saying, thank you so much for the most incredible, unbelievable 24 hours of my life. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being kind to me thank you so so much i promise i will keep doing my bestest 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 for you as also further with vidari we have iri this little devil vtuber being a part of vidari's second song cover gods hitting 20,000 youtube subscribers and further sharing my asmr videos are being hit with bs copyright claims again once again just random people claiming free to use rain sounds it's different companies each time to claiming i'm using their content lesson learned never using any kind of rain sounds again. And now we have V4 Mirai. Now welcoming in their brand new talent manager V Sensei, complete with her very own reference sheet here, as V4 Mirai would also present their all member cover song before going on to announce their upcoming third generation. V4 Mirai saying keep your eyes open some new faces will be roaming the halls of Mirai Magical School very soon giving us the date of April 6th. V4 Mirai also with brand new birthday merchandise saying happy birthday to V4 Mirai's resident ninja Yai Yugiri. Enjoy fun items like keychains, tapestries, and death mats, or purchase the whole set for a special bonus gift. Oh, while V4 Mirai's Abi Kadabura gifted us with Why Does the Guy from Anime McDonald's Look Like False ID Got a Day Job? Saying next, I tag both of them so you can help me figure out which one's which. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and move on. What the hell? To Aeon Project. Checking in with the frog and toxic troublemaker, Zume Dekami. Having received this frog legs on artwork, hitting 7,000 subscribers on YouTube, stating we are going to make the biggest frog cult ever. Zuma recently celebrating her birthday with her own donathon. After saying, I've never felt more loved and appreciated by so many wonderful people. I am unbelievably lucky to have you all. Zumi launching her own merch like a stick set, keychain, and standee, and also fulfilling a prior donathon reward. You like it when I give you the choose? What I'm saying is you love the choose. You need them. I'm gonna give you all the chews. Here! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Now don't say I didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> Merry Christmas.
And now with Pixel Link, we are back with Nebby Nebu. This galactic alien returning to streaming after a much needed mental health break and releasing her very own song cover of All Star, saying thank you all so much for the warm welcome back messages. It wouldn't have been a proper Nebby Nebu comeback stream if she didn't give something back. As lastly, we're back with Astralide's Lucius Merriweather, earlier today hosting a 40 person Fall Guys Grand VTuber tournament. Merriweather also promising a 3D debut coming up on Saturday, March 30th saying our most ambitious debut yet please look forward to it as that is all for this episode as always feel free to like comment and subscribe below send in your vtuber news to our discord as we'll have more things vtubers say for you soon